Welcome back for the new year. David Navo here. Hi, at Top Price Hall. Got a little bit of Academy basketball for you. We had a doubleheader with the Academy. It's starting it off, it's JV followed by the varsity. JV just about to get underway here. It's Valley Forge, Devin Prep. And like I said beforehand, this is going to be an interesting one because, as you see on your screen, Valley Forge in the road white, in the home whites, like usual. See that with the Academy and College, pretty much all the teams here from Valley Forge. And you have Devin Prep reversing it. Blue, blue with white, with gold letters and numbers. Valley Forge, the white with the bold numbers and the blue, the gold lettering and blue numbers. And we're underway. No player introductions at the college or, or even the academy for that matter. It's just getting underway. This is JV. That is, that was Brian from the left. I couldn't get that to go. Back comes Devin Pratt. This is Jabalowski. I have hands that will be passed in. Here at number 21, Walton for Devin Pratt. Again, Devin Pratt in the blue, Valley Forge in the white. Walton passed it in. Right on the basket, got, got that one to go. That was Walker. Put back, no. How about the rebound? They can't get that one to go. In fact, the other way we go. Playing eight minute quarters here. Two nothing to Devin Prep. It was Bradshaw for Valley Forge on the lane, couldn't get that to go. Here comes Devin Pratt. Chablonski. Out of bounds. Like I said, you know, we're giving you some academy basketball here. And looking down on the bench for Valley Forge. From our vantage point here on the left. You see a couple of varsity guys down there. They're not in uniform, they're just taking this one in on the bench. That's Walton. It's a Bryce check. Bryce check holding. It's Terrell. Terrell. Back to Jablonski. Got that to go. Say that name ten times fast, and it's five nothing. Devin Pratt. Fake drives the lane. Can't get that one to go off the jump shot. That was number twenty-three for Valley Forge. Not on the roster. In and foul. That's Terrell Fouten, he'll go line for two. First one is up for no good. Up. In, out, blows around, stayed inbound, thrown off of the player, kept in by Valley Forge, home run pass underneath the net, Brian turned and threw it away. Rebound, put back, got that to go, Valley Forge is on top. It's 
hang. Out of the bounds. It'll be Valley, it'll be Devin Prep Ball, it'll be Watt to pass it in. Watt. Acted Jablonski. Defense are running that. Hang with the rebound. Now he's going to have the fight for Jablonski. Gets it. Back to Dry Jack. He's blocked up the line for two. And it's still 5 4 Rally Forge down in this one. Didn't get that one to go. That's up. And that's good. So a two point lead for Devin Prep here. They lead this one 6 4. And Devin Prep coming into this one 1 and 3 to JV. The varsity will see after this one wraps up. They're 1 and 5. That for the Academy over break. They had two games up in Allentown. Won both of them in the holiday tournament up there. And they had one down at the shore, right on the beach, Wildwood, New Jersey. They put up John Paul, the sixth big team down in Jersey. They couldn't get that one. But overall, three games during the break for Academy. They take two of them. Coming in off that loss to Paul, like I just said. So we'll see how they rebound, no pun intended, after this game. And like I said, you have the JV on your screen right now. Valley Forge down 6-4. About the read 10 to go here in the first quarter. Bang, three, got it to go. And it's 7-6 Valley Force on top and scanning through these rosters here. Thankfully, I have the varsity roster already up just in case because some of these JV guys are, are bench players for the varsity team. So I'm looking at the JV roster trying to find these guys. I'm not finding them because they're bench players for the varsity team. So earlier I said number 23 for Valley Forge was not on the roster. He's on the roster. He's just not on the JV roster. That's Max Coffin. He's on the varsity roster. Six Valley Forge back on top. Towards the Ray. Stolen away. Jablonski to the other way. No. Then Brett brings it back out. Set it up. Walton. Rulo. To wide open Jablonski. And it's 10 8. So, that'll go. It's 12 to 8. Valley Forge on top. Getting ready to check in for a couple players down there getting ready to check in for Devin Prep. It looks like we're about to get the next stop is going to be Tyrell, number 25. Number 42, Walker, and number 33. 
can't get that to go. Pang back the other way. Two one two the other way. Terreno. Went to rain, couldn't get it. Kai and Man Ray. And out of bounds. That was Lord's ball here. And coffee, coffee. Two. Easy. 14 8 with about a minute to go. Here in the first. Like I said a moment ago, y'all, she might be able to see it in a second here. There's rule of three. Actually, that's rule of for two. And it's 12 10. I mean, 14 10. Back and forth you go. Tang, Kaufman. Kaufman lost it. Regains control. Hit the leg in the lane. Stolen away again. Driving into the lane, taking a swat. Is Matt Disto. Went to the lane, and Disto got hit right across the face and I think he might have a bloody nose there. Watson comes in to take the foul shots for him. So it's now Watson in for Disto for the injury. First one up and no good. Kicks it to Damon Ray. Ray brings it up. About 12 seconds here in the first quarter. Kaufman, Damon Ray. To the lane. Jump shot. No good. Rebound. And the shot it won't count. And it's 14 10 after one. Now it's George on top. And uh, you know, close first quarter. Only a four point deficit. Back and forth they went. We'll be back right after this with the second quarter. No, we're gonna we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. And you know, like I just said, you know, Valley Forge. Valley Forge the Academy, they had two games in Allentown, won both of them and lost one down in Wildwood. So three games over the break from they went two and one, improving to seven and three overall. Devin Prep, JV is one and three. The varsity, which we will see after this, is one and five. A couple cancellations for Devin Prep into their schedule. Same with Valley Forge, a couple cancellations there. And we'll get the second quarter underway. And it's Valley Forge up by four. They'll be aiming right to pass it in for Valley Forge. Ball here to just push out. Austin for two couldn't get that to go. So 
Bishop Ryan took me a second to remember that fourth one there. All those teams, if you don't know, all four of those teams, the mascots are the Trojans, so therefore the Trojan Classic got your open high school. And Varsity was there, JV was there in one gym, Varsity in the other gym. Each team played three games, got to see two of the Varsity games, went to the JV game. And right on cue, that's thrown out of bounds. But right on cue, a couple more of the varsity guys come on in for the academy. So right now on the bench, on the bench, not dressed, just taking in the game, is Will Collar and Abraham Dan. Taking in the JV game before their game. No, like I said, with Valley Forge, there's a couple of these JV guys that are on the varsity roster. You might see some of these JV guys for Devin Prep on their roster. We'll just have to wait and see on that one. That's Walton. Chippewa wants a practical violation. In the meantime, while I was saying that Abraham Dang and Will Collins entered to the bench, Disto checked back in for Valley Forge, and I don't see there's Disto. And there's the push off by Walker. Disto passed it over to the time. About four minutes to get left in the second here, and that was aiming right foul, but no call. Remains 19-14. Got to the block underneath the net, he didn't even get the ball out. We give it to Sang. We walk up the line for two. No good. The second one from Walker. Up and good. Nineteen fifteen. 
One more run pass. Back to seven. Got that to go. 21-15. Nice little home run pass there. Then a behind the back pass from Yuri to Tsang. Got that one to go, and it's 21 15. Timeout, Devin Prep. Looks like they're going to get a couple guys about to check in. It looks like Glennon. And maybe. Errol. We'll see. Actually, there you see the shot of the Valley Forge bench. The guy all the way towards the far screen. Side of the screen in the uh, Miami University pants. That is Will Collin. You will see him in the next game. And a couple of players down is Abraham Dang. Like I said, checking in for uh, Devin Prep is Belden. There was Glennon. So Glennon and Belgium both check in. So Blonsky's been out there for a while. That's tipped the cup and he'll get it to the other end. And got it. On the way down, he was bobbling it. Didn't have complete full possession, but he had enough possession to get it off and get the layup to go. It's 23 to 15. Started out having prep on top five nothing and a twenty three to ten scoring run for Valley Forge later. It's twenty three fifteen Valley Forge. And on the rebound on the foul. Team six, I believe that's his second. Back, no. Amen Ray with the rebound. Tipped. Jablons, Jablonski. Lennon. No, I'm sorry, that was. Belden. For three, couldn't get it to go. Back to the other way, Valley Forge gets the layup and one. So it's 25 15. Amen Ray at the line for the end. That's a 10 point lead for Valley Forge. Damien Wright trying to make it an 11 point lead. 2.45 to go for the first half. Up. Oh. Couldn't get the bounce. It looked good. Good thing I didn't say good because. Wow. Damien Wright will tell you it should have went. Everyone in the gym will tell you it should have went. No call on the other way. Back to Damien Wright. Three. That won't go. Hoffman gets it. Another bad turn over there by Kevin Prep. Amen Ray. Flip back and foul. And it looks like Jose will check in. After this foul shot by Amen Ray. The other can jump by 10, 25, 15. Up and good. In comes Jose for Tyrell. We have to see Holman. Or Pauline. Pauline. For uh Devin Prep. Other than that, the rest of the bench has played. One of the 
of good things that happens here with JV. Maybe not in the first half, but definitely by the end of the game. Everyone usually gets a couple minutes. 217 left here in the second. That was Grice check at the line. The two couldn't get him to go. 26-15, Valley picked up by 11, Kaufman, the Pang, Gisto, to Yuri, Yuri, David Gray tried to get the rebound, no, back to the other way. Amato checks in for Devin Prep and Will Collar comes out to fix the net. Gets a nice round of blush from the JV guys here. Guy on the Academy varsity team. Collar and this is at 6 7, but there's a guy named Abraham Dang out there. You'll see him later on. We've seen him in the last couple games we've done for the Academy. He's listed at 6 10. Not sure why Abraham didn't go and get that one, but Will was a good support and went and got it. Bang. Back the other way, and that's a foul, and we'll have a two shots. Bang at the line. 11 point lead for Valley Forge. Bang trying to at, at least make it 12, if not 13. With a minute 24 to go in the second quarter. First one's up. And that is good. 27 15. This is 12 point lead. Tyrell checks in. May have been a lane violation there. Anyways, do want to get the pass it Let's bring it up. Almost turned over. Now it's bobbled between two guys. Those two guys being Romano and Tyrell. There's Bryce check. Belton. seconds left. First half here. Avon Ray to the lane. Almost untouched. Couldn't even go. Then he was fouled. No call. Back comes Devin Prep the other way. Devin Prep had the odd man coming the other way. Foul shot checking in. First one is up. Good. Make it 27 21. In come Walker and Walton. And 
foul on this up. Bonds get the line for two. Gets two more. 11.2 seconds to go. Actually make that 17.2 seconds to go. Can't see the top of the sevens from our vantage point here. Up and down here about Coach. Lennon checking in for Devin Pratt. He comes in for Tyrell. That's no good. Rebound goes to Walton. I'm going to try and set something up here before the end of the half. Blonsky. Terrell, three. No. I said Tyrell, it was Romano. Three. Couldn't get it to go. Six point lead Valley Forge. At the break, it's 27 21. Only an 11 point quarter for Devin Prep. They only put up 10 in the first. Make it a 13 point quarter for Valley Forge. So again, you have another close matchup. And there you see, I believe that is the Devin Prep varsity guys coming across midcourt right now, headed towards the locker room to get ready for this. Their game is, this game's halfway through. We're at half. Valley Forge up six. We'll be back with the second half right after this.
And welcome back for the second half. David Benetto here. Hi, Top Price Hall. Let's see the scoreboard on your screen. 27-21. Valley Forge leads Devin Prep. This is the JV, ba JV basketball game. Followed by the varsity. Usually we bring you college doubleheaders, but we have an academy doubleheader. Sometimes we bring you triple headers. That was a couple weeks ago. This one. Thank God it's not played on paper. It's only a six point game at half. Valley Forge, pretty good team. That in prep, you don't want to say not so good, but one and three record for the JV squad. The varsity. That follows Valley Forge seven and three. And then Devin Prep is one and five. So another one looking on paper. Might not be close. That's why we're here playing these games and they're not played on paper. I'm thinking of myself looking at the scoreboard at half. Overtime? Maybe, maybe not. We still have a whole second half to play before that happens. But this is one of those where it's not what it looks like on paper. I see teams coming to the event. So there's Devin Pratt, to be exact. And we're just about ready to get this second half under right here. Valley Forge outscored Devin Pratt 14-10 in the first quarter, 13-11 in the second quarter. That's how he got the 27-21 at half. A lot of turnovers by, by Devin Pratt. So, see if they can make that adjustment going to the second half. We walk in the pass it in on the far side for Devin Prep. If you're just joining us, Devin Prep in the blue. Gold lettering and numbers. Valley Forge, all white. Gold lettering, blue numbers. Want to see the light? Yeah, look at the line for two. No, I'm sorry. We're not going to the line. We walk and pass it in. Maybe we can check in here. He's Brian. I haven't seen him in a while. He checks in for Penn. The varsity guys that I told you about in the first half for the academy that were on the bench. Just taking the game in. They have gone to the locker room for the second half. Get ready for one up to their game. These games tend to go by pretty quick. There's Andrew Murray brings it down. Maybe watching a lot of hockey during the, the break when you're gonna say cross ice pass. Almost. Hit that amount. We'll do it again. That was towards pass it in. Quick three by Kaufman. And ready to rebound. Put back. No. And Terrell gets the rebound. He'll bring it up. We got Slavonski. Back and down. Spin move. That's, that's Christ check. Aiming right. And he's out. 27-23. Devin Prep down four. Largest lead for Valley Forge. 11. Sorry, 10. Yeah, look at this. Going the wrong way. 12. I just leave the game for Valley Forge. 12. That was mid second quarter. Aim and pray. In the very. Nope. Yeah. Well, 
think it through all together. Back to this though. Just a three. That was beyond college range. Hit the net. Didn't hit the rim. And then went out. Zrolo brings it up. Didn't see a lot of him in the first half. Jump shot from the foul line. That's Terrell. And it's 27-25. Home run past the Buffman. He's got the two, and it's back to a four-point lead for that. It's 29-25. Blonsky out there. He's played the majority of this game. Layup, no. Rebound. Prep has it. Roll low. Blonsky. He's hit a couple threes so far. That's for three. It's not going to Blonsky, it's from Walton. Walton's three goes. We have a one-point game. Tim, Bob, Kaufman had it. Hold. And... Take me in as a rookie. Damon Murray brings it down. Valley Forge up one. They were down as many as five. They then came back to get the 11 point lead. And Damon Murray traveled. Devin Prep with the ball. Chance for their first lead of the game since early in this game. You got to go way back to the first quarter when they went on the 5 0 run to start it. Can they get the lead again? Price check gives way to Tyrell. Tyrell got it to go. It's a 30-29 game. Seven prep on top. Rollo. The hold. And the foul. They remain Devin prep all. 345 to go. Third quarter. Timeout. I believe it's Valley Forge that I see the scoreboard. 30 29. Devin Prep on top. They were down 27 21 at half. So they're coming out on a 9 2 scoring run. Now they're on top. I see the Valley Forge bench. Talking it over. It's not over yet. 45 left, third quarter. Only down one. Like I said, they've been down as many as five and came back to get the lead. Why can't they do it again with a one point deficit? That was the first buzzer. Second one will be getting more. There's that. I never can prep as it out. Valley Forge is out. 345 to go to the third quarter. Devin Prep ball underneath third net. Walton. Tyrell. To Rolo. Rolo. Backs it out. Valley Forge is down four. This though. Run the horn leg out here. That's for three. No good. Hey, we keep the three. Can we get it to go?
So that was the other end. Devin Cook the one for two. First up. Bounces around. Got it. Yeah. Thirty-four twenty-nine. Terrell at the line. The first one was good. Gets one more. Second one up. In and out. Rebound Valley Forward. We're down five. Oh, they've been down. Oh. Trip and stumbling. Blocked away at the rim. Hoffman as he came across that. Court tripped over the half court line. Back the other way. It was blocked by this though.
brings up an interesting situation. That was called on a player on the bench. Once he gets a jump ball, we're going to be that No. Timeout, Devin Prep. 30 second timeout. And wow, have they, they, they've changed this one a little bit. They're down 27 21 at half. Devin Prep up 37 32. Under a minute to go in the, first, in the third quarter. So they're turning this one around. Pass in right there, and there you see Crawford again, looking at his hand. Looks like the, the uh, pass in will be right in front of us. Not directly in front of us, but... We roll out a pass it in pretty much right in front of the scorer's table. Passes it in to Jablonski. Got out of the way. Oh, they tried to get the possession. They couldn't. Kang is back out there. Austin getting ready to check back in. Lane. No. Tip back. Seconds left here in the quarter. Bang with the steal. The other way. Foul and count it, but don't count it. I'm not sure why you don't count that there, but. Two and a half seconds left in the third. Offensive foul on Eamon Ray, so it's Devin Prep ball. And we'll bring it down, and that's a three. Oh my. Rollo. Pan, can you get it off? No. He got it off, he didn't go. And the ball almost left by Hall. Counting the three with about four seconds left. It's 40-30. So it's a 19-point quarter for Devin Pratt, in which they only scored 21 in the entire first half. They come out and put up 19 in the quarter. And they lead this one 40-32. Like I said, Valley Forge led 27-21 at half. They're now down 40-32. Going to the fourth. Down eight, they were up by six at half. So, big quarter there for for Devin Prep. As Valley Ford only scores five. So they were out scored nineteen to five. They're down eight going to the fourth. Devin prep ball. Valley Forge is needing at least eight to tie. Nine would win it. But that means they have to go on an eight or nine of those scoring run right here to start the quarter just to get back to a tie. That's a three. And Rolo 
says, yeah, make an 11 point run that you're going to have to get because you're up 11, 43, 32. Rolo again off the inbound, throw it away, off in the other way. And he was fouled. 6.35 to go. Ellie Forge down 11. Kaufman at the line for two. Team seven. First one. No good. Only get him one now. There's Polanski. Oh, low, oh my. Bounce. No. Bang. Jablonski. He was out. And he almost left the building. Good thing those red doors on the far side don't lock because Jablonski pushed on the door above the push bar. If he hit the push bar, he would have left the gym. Checking in his dry check. It's going to be one for two. Actually, I'm sorry, for one, up and no good. Put back by Amy Ray, no. Put back Yuri, no. Put back Amy Ray. And you already just got one. Couldn't get it to go, couldn't get it to go, couldn't get it to go. I got it and I got the foul. So I got a line for the N1. It's 43 34. Was that Jackson? For Devin Prep. Out of the way, kept in and stepped out. And no, he didn't step out. He got the time out off in time. Valley Forge was wondering that, and the official said, Yeah, he got, he got the time off, which he did step out, but got the time out called before he stepped out. You see the Valley Forge bench. Down 43 35. Down 8. 606 to go. Heaven Prep. They're up 8. They were down 6 at half. As I said, following this game, regardless of overtime or not, we have the varsity game for you. As Valley Forge and Devin Prep also. Six minutes left in regulation here. Valley Forge is down eight, so they're going to have to at least get the eight to tie it. And it'll go Valley. It'll go Devin Prep ball because they got the timeout called before he stepped out. We'll be right back to pass it in. Down 8. Yuri 
tight guard and foul. Foul Tyrell and he'll go to line for two. Five thirty-seven. Devin Prep on top of this one. Five oh eight to go. First one is up and good. Well, the second one up. No good. Nine point three for Devin Pratt. Austin brings it down. Take the aim and right. He drives for the one two. Can't get that to go. It's going away ahead of the pack. Is Walton. And he was fouled. Foul on this though. Walton going line for two. First one, no good. And the second one. Is good. 47-37. 450 to go. Don't know Jose. Time on the line for two. Down ten. First one is up. Good. Go back down. Single digits. Forty-seven, thirty-eight. One more for Pang. And that one is up. And that is good. 47-39. They're down uh, eight. Price check. Jose. Jose. Oh, right. Kaufman. Kaufman. Blade. First play up. No. Almost all the way by eight. So let's get it the other way. Fury yeah. on the block. He grabbed the rim. They give him two for goal ten. It's 49-39. Back to a 10-point deficit. Fury. Play. Play. Down eight. Fouled out. No, he will. Of course, we're not going to do it. 50 41. I will say this for Kaufman. Give him credit. As soon as the foul was called, he just turned the ball. Towards the bench, he knew. And the official asked, Where did he go? He said, That's my fifth. Hey, we've been right at the book guy. Seven point deficit, 50 43. 350 to go. Checks back in. 
comes in for Jose. First one was up good. Second one is up. No good. Out the line for two. Made the first. Missed the second. That was on right check. It'll be... Be this so at one for two. I uh, down eight. First one got good. Maybe 51 44. Go down seven. Second one from this though up. No good. He gets his own rebound though. And they lost it. Now we got a tie up. And push. Now the explanation of the Valley Ford bench is to why a foul. And this thing was done. Wookie checks back in. Get the line. First one is good. Three and a half to go that Valley Forge is down fifty two forty four. Second one's up, good. 53-44. In the key good. Bang, fouled, but he walked. And he got it. Yeah, also. Also traveled. Valley Forge is down 9. 53-44. 23 to go. Brings it down. Rollo. Rollo. To the lane. Kick that to Blonsky. To Brychek. To Blonsky. Three. No. Aiming right by the rebound. The push. And Blonsky. Three minutes to go. First, first one no good. Second one was good. So it's 53-45. Crycheck, Crycheck. Roll low. Crycheck, back to roll low. To the lane. Who is it, Tyrell? Roll at the 
one for two. First one is up. No good. Still 53, 45. Second one roll out, up. No good. Tried to go to Raymond Ray, couldn't get it to go. I should have started actually with the to go to Brian. Raymond Ray with the steal on the sideline. And he was charged for a reach in foul. Uh, 224 to go, Valley Forge down 53-45. You see that on the screen. Valley Forge played well the first half. You see that on your screen. They're up by six at half. Then they were outscored 19-5 in the third quarter. Which they were down 40-32 during the fourth quarter. And now they're down 53-45 with 2.24 to go. I said at the start of the third, it was close enough, possibly overtime. Valley Forge is down eight. Two twenty-four to go. Let's get the line for two. No good. No good. Two twenty to go. Pang brings it down. There's the reach. Back to a 10 point lead for Devin Prep, they're up 55 45. Walton at the line for one. 204 to go. That's good. Damon Red brings it down. Bang. Ryan, can't get it to go. You really got it to go. Hey, 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 hey. 56 47. Low, low, stolen away by Pang. Pang brings it down. We'll go to Amy Ray. Charlie Lane gets the bounce. Can't get it to go, though. Second one from the one up. No good. Eamon Ray gets it. And it's 
10 to go. Damon Ray gets it. And foul. 105 left. Academy Varsity players at the far end getting warmed up. They're getting stretched out. And then I said their game follows this. Minute 5 left. Valley Forge down 10. Barring a big comeback in the last minute by Valley Forge. The warm ups will then begin for. Of the game. And now it's Watson, Glover. Stripped up. 53.2 to go. As he as he hits the floor. 59.49. Still a 10 point deficit. And Belden comes in. He'll come in for Grice Check. Right at the line for two. First one up. In and out. Under a minute to go in this one. Valley Forge down to 10. Second one from Eamon Wright. That's up and good. It's a 9 point deficit. 59 50. Golo tried to go to. No, tried to walk. Tried to go to. Belton couldn't get that connection to work. Nine point deficit for Bradley Forge. They get the ball back. Amon Ray brings it down. Long two. Rebound and roll low. 35 seconds to go. Roll low to the lane. Block. And he trapped. Yuri gave it to Eamon Ray. And before Eamon Ray could really give it to Eamon Ray, before Yuri could give it to Eamon Ray, he trapped. There's Belton. Belton. Roll up. Roll up. Fourteen seconds left. Now we're down to twelve. Looks like they might just hold it here. Stolen away. Devin Prepper regains possession. We'll go to Jablonski. To Walton. Their team rises. The horn sounds. Nine point win for Valley for Devin Prep. Like I said, Valley Forge better first half than the second half. Devin Prep takes that one. By 9, 59, 50. Stay tuned for the varsity game coming up right after this. 